Are you guys into an old start, cold start? One of our favorite trucks from the past that hasn't been running in three years? The Taliban taxi. Isn't that what they say? The war call? Let's get to war. We gotta get this thing out of the bush. Four wheel drive. 1984 Nissan standard five-speed pickup truck with the Nap Z engine that has eight spark plugs on a four banger. Can't start her the way she is because she's got no fuel system on it. The redneck fuel system was stolen off of it. I bet it'll need some carb work. I know that tire always needs blowing up and other than that, she used to work. So this is our all-wheel drive Subi. We'll be using to pull it out because it's probably stuck in there good. Here we go. Give her a, a, a yug in a tank, or a yank in a tug. Okay, it's going to run into you. Amazing. Let's see what she looks like. Shut her down, we'll see what she looks like. Well, it's not that bad. Got stuff growing back here. That's from rotting apples, I guess. Um, let's see. Looks the same as I remember it. A little rustier. I don't know why someone painted the wires red, but the mice haven't chewed them, so it's all there. Yeah. Rotten battery box, but yeah, I think I can resurrect. If I can resurrect the Chevy, I can resurrect this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she'll be a good truck. All right, let's tug her down to the barn. In tow. And away we go. All right, she's in the shop. I've been checking her out. Got the fluids checked. Got a battery in it. The carb was kind of screwed up, and when I primed it, it just kept running out of the fuel bowl, the float bowl, so... I think that's fixed now. The float bowl's a two-piece one. You can take this cover off and uh, access and fix or whatever and clean it out. It's so simple. And the neoprene gasket had got corrosion around it and that's why it was leaking. So I primed it. I haven't even turned the key yet. So let's see what is going to happen. Over three years, no start. Sitting under an apple tree. Uh, just a minute. No, it's not stuck. Neutral. <clears throat> Clutch is starting to work. And no power. I'm sure that battery's charged, so let's check battery connections and other connections. All right, take two. We now have dash lights. What the hell? All right, take two. We now have dash lights, so contact, ignition. Piece of shit, come on. Sounds like it's trying. We put a little more prime in. All right, added some prime for a good time. Sounds like it wants to go. Come on, baby. It's alive! <laughs> Sweet! Uh-oh. Still got no fuel system, just running off what's in the car. <laughs> well. I guess the carb needs its uh, idle jets cleaned a little. Oh well, now I can make a fuel system, but I know she's still good. Sweet. So the first part of the fuel system, 
is an inline fuel pump I just installed below the carburetor. Just cut the hoses. Wired it into the wire that works the solenoid that shuts the fuel off to the idle circuit of the carburetor and the other one to ground. And I'll turn it on and see what it sounds like. A tuber who visited a couple years ago donated that, brand new. And I guess it was especially for this truck because you need the low pressure kind of inline fuel pump but not made for fuel injection. Oops, more. You can hear it already. And it works just by making little pulses. It doesn't have a spinning electric motor. Now to hook up a, just a gas can with just a fuel hose in it, and that's it, and tire down. All right, redneck fuel system is installed. That's just a tank with a hose and nothing else, and it's strapped down with a bungee. Got an inline filter, and a tiny little vent hole that I hope rain doesn't come in. So the air can come in as the fuel comes out. Now let's turn the key on and see if it fills up the carb and shuts that pump off. I see fuel. Getting quieter. You're gurgling. This thing's even got a sight class. Well, I guess it doesn't shut off, but Let's hope it's not flooding out the carb either. Let's start her up and find out. Sweet! I have to move the tractor now and go for a ride. Now the Taliban taxi's all up and working. We're using it for working, we're hauling wood. This is the completion of my video, because I made a video of getting it all going. Yeah. So you're the first people, this is the first time you ever drove it, right? Yeah. Did it work good? Works great, runs like a top. There you go, we already hauled some wood, see? Now this is their get up and go vehicle every time they need some wood. <laughs> there you go, that's what you always wanted, right? And I don't need it. I've got several pickup trucks. Just don't abuse it because it's really rusty on the frame underneath. <laughs> right on the bed of the truck. <laughs> yep.